Welcome back to a, another video from KKC Productions here. And today I'm going to show you another video just like my other one I made for my Java class. This is C++. So this I'm also taking at Gwinnett Technical College. And this is the Blackjack card game. This is supposed to be like the casino version of the game. Let's go over a few steps that this program goes into. It is a blackjack game, as I mentioned. It's going to have a user account system that you are allowed to create a username and password, and it stores that into the files, as you might be able to see from the top here. Scores username. That's where it stores them into and reads them. Then we're going to have one where you actually can use an existing account. You can enter that in, enter the password, and it will validate to check to see if your password is correct and if it is it will log you into the system and find your scores through the scores.dat file read the input from that and gain your scores and you can play the blackjack game from there you will be able to choose to play with the computer which is the house hand you can play with obviously it would be me you can do one more player or you can do a second player. So it would be a total of three real people and then the computer or you and the computer or you can do two other real people and the computer. So that's the game modes that you can select and that's how the blackjack game works. Sounds simple, but it's really not. So let's go into detail and show you some of the code first and then we'll show you exactly how everything works. So here we can see my name. This is the date or a date of where I started to work on it and get a lot of the code running. Um, just a simple description here. I would have liked to add in some uh, a menu where you can see the how to play the blackjack game, but uh, I got a lot of this working, so that's the main main thing. Include lots of stuff. We got um, I don't vector. I can actually probably remove that one, but we have the time for the card shuffling, the Windows H for sleep, a sleep mode, strings, the F stream, and the ISO stream. So we have a struct for player that stores in the username of the current user that's being played, the score, hand, and their bet, as this is the casino version. We have lots of function prototypes here for the hand shuffling, user account system, the game computer, the game users, all the good stuff. And if we scroll here, all these little green text boxes show exactly all the func functions that are separate. So let's first go into main. Here's main, it has the time function, has some declarations for the users, the hands, the house cards, the dealt cards. This calls the user account system and the menu for the game. And then everything else is called from the functions. And then system pause return zero to end the system when you are finished playing the game. So let's go into user accounts first. We have some F streams for the passwords, the line, username and password. This is how it all gets inputted into the system. We have nice little display menus. We have some system clears to clear out the functions here. So you can have a nice clean display and not have everything in one big huge mess. Um, a lot of outputs. This is where it inputs the usernames and gets the scores. Here, this is case one, which allows you to create your username and set your default score to 1000 if you register into the system as a new user. Case two is your username. That's where it stores your username if you've already created one in the system and logs you in. Lots of validation here to check if it is correct or not and reads the file. And we got a cool little welcome screen here when it's entered and a sleep, as I said, from the Windows.h um, include, pound include fun, uh, thing I got on the top. Um, more validation. And that's the user accounts system. Took a little bit of time, but I thought it was actually pretty, one of the actually fun parts of making this program. We have the menu here. What would you like to do? The play with computer, play with another user. We have a little display here, clears it, and then it's another display for the other menu. These are for two other cases, 
it depends on if you're playing with the computer or playing with the user, which I'll show in a second. Here is the game computer mode here. And it shows all the details. This is actually one of the shortest ones for the whole game. Very simple. At the end, it should display, would you like to play another game, yes or no? And here we have a system where it checks all the validation to see if the house won or you won the game. The user game here does the same thing, but it logs you in and brings you to another function first and then shuffles everyone, shows your bets, as the same does with the first player with you and the computer. So the hardest part, I think, of the project was this part where it checks to see who won. This checks if the house bust, it checks the players and that system of how it works. Um, this is a very long piece of code. It keeps going all the way from here. So that's from about 770 lines of code starting at 600. So that's almost 200 lines of code just to try to get this, the system works. I mean, obviously you got a few spaces in there, but that's, that's not too bad. Next, we got the shuffle. Something simple, shuffles with the arrays we got. We have the display card, uses a rank system with a percent of the 13. That's where it finds your rank. It has the suits, so it gets your cards here. We have the display hand, which displays the hand of which cards you have. We have the next card, which deals you another card. The hand score, the scores your hands. Just a lot of functions. Displays your hands at the end. And a scores, which this should um, update your score when you finish the game. But that's a bug that I have right now where it's actually not um, updating your score when you're finished. So let's try this out and show you exactly how this thing works. So let's let this load and create our command prompt game, our terminal game. All right. So here is my game here. Comes out nice and big with the text. And here it is. So what would you like to do? First, we're actually gonna start with using an account. Option two. Please enter your username. I'll do my famous one for my account. And let's enter a password. I probably could have made this to where it hides your password while you type it in. But if you see here, it welcomes the my username because that's the correct one. And let's start, let's play with the computer first. So it has a nice little display here. And then here we go. It shows you how much money I have from the file. Let's bet 1,000. And then it will automatically subtract the money from your account and show you the house's hand. And let's see, I have a score of 16. So since I have enough money to double the cards, which is a feature in Casino, if you double the cards, it will double the bet that you've placed. So if I double, I'd play $2,000, and then I'd get dealt one last card, and then that's it. So since my card's 16, um, I want to double and go for it. All right, so we can see here that the house actually won. The house only had a score of 11, and when I did the double, um, it actually caused me to bust, and then the house actually won. So that's pretty simple. And then you could ask you, would you like to play another game? Yes or no? So if I say no, it's done. So if we start this back up, we can play the another section of the game. Minimize this again. Let's do the, let me enter an existing account again. I'll do the same one. And enter my password. It'll welcome me back, and then we're going to create another one. Play with another user. So let's try this one out. This mode's a fun. You're able to, let's do one extra player. Enter the options for player one. So let's create a new account for him. And let's call it player two. How about that? Enter password. Um, let's do password. 
simple. Registering the user to the system and registered successfully, little menu there. And first it starts off the blackjack game with the first person. So let me bet, let's bet 500, not 5,000, 500. And then it asks for the bet for the second players, player two's money. So he, let's do him do also 500. It'll tell me how much money I have left. I only have a score of 10. So let me hit, I have 12, let me hit one more time. Oh, I busted. So it will obviously show the next player's turn and it cleared the screen so the other player doesn't know that I busted. So it gives him enough time to get to his spot. So once he's ready and I'm not looking, I can press the key and it'll start his. So he only has 12, let me, he does not obviously have enough money. So let's hit, then I have exactly 21. So now I can stay. So that's the end of the game to see scores, we'll press continue and it'll show player two one because the house's hand was 23, it was way too high, he busted. If the user's hand goes to zero, it shows that I busted and the player's hand was 21. So he got blackjack and he won the game. So if I press continue and I say I want to play one more game, it shows my money subtracted here and then it should show an extra money for the other player, including the bets that we had recently. So let me put in, let's bet in, let's bet a thousand here and see now he's got 1500 so he can bet a thousand too and then continue for the hand. So now that, he, now that it's my turn, I'm not going to double hit or I'm just going to stay because my hand looks pretty good. And let's hit. He is 21. So let's stay. End of game. Well, player two has won once again. So we can see here it's a nice little system. Um, it shows my hand's 20. He had uh, player two's was 21. So he won. And that is pretty. And that is it right here. So if I press no, it'll obviously it'll go into the next player. You can play again keep playing um, but we are done with this so there's that system I will save all the documents so if I go into scores it shows all the players scores that it reads from it created player two which made him at a thousand so I'm sets to him a thousand but it didn't change the score when we finished the game so that's one little bug but in here you could see that it read my username and password and there's some other players that created the player two and player password and well not player password he created a password for the player so that's my code for my project I hope this video wasn't too long but it shows my project of the blackjack I wish I could have did a little bit more tried to add in a little bit of more um, user menus for the game and added just a little more features to it like um, adding insurance if the house has an ace or adding a, a split so the user can do that in the blackjack but this is pretty good. I thought I did pretty good on this project. Hope you get a good grade for this one. And I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. And I will see you in the next one.